Imagine holding the perfect balance between power and portability, a device that feels as light as your phone but performs like a laptop. That has always been the magic of Apple's iPad miniseries. It's small, elegant, and fast, but also deeply personal. The kind of device that doesn't just fit in your bag, it fits into your lifestyle. And now, all eyes are turning toward Apple's next chapter in this compact legacy, the iPad Mini 8, rumored to be the most refined and capable small tablet Apple has ever built. Over the years, Apple's smallest iPad has gone through waves of transformation, from its early days as a shrunken iPad to becoming a true powerhouse in its own category. But fans have been asking for more. A smoother display, stronger chip performance, and a design that finally feels worthy of Apple's modern premium lineup. And with the upcoming iPad Mini 8, it seems Apple is finally listening. So, what exactly is changing? What's new under the hood? And most importantly, will this be the generation that truly pushes the Mini into pro-level performance territory? Let's dive deep into everything we know so far about Apple's upcoming iPad Mini 8 its rumored specs, design updates, release window, pricing, and how it could redefine what a compact tablet can really do in 2026. When the iPad Mini 7 launched, it impressed many users with the A17 Pro chip borrowed directly from the iPhone 15 Pro lineup. That move gave the Mini a serious speed boost and kept it relevant among Apple's mobile devices. Yet, despite the raw performance, there was still a collective sigh from the Apple community. Why? Because it missed some of the upgrades people had been waiting years for. There was no promotion, meaning the screen was still locked at 60 Hz, while iPhones and iPads higher in the line enjoyed buttery smooth 120 Hz refresh rates. It also lacked an OLED display, something that has become a standard of excellence in Apple's newest hardware. And perhaps most importantly, the design looked almost identical to the previous version, flat-edged, yes, but visually unchanged. That's what sets the stage for the iPad Mini 8. Leaks from multiple supply chain insiders and reports from trusted sources in Asia, including the well-known digital chat station on Weibo, suggest that Apple is preparing a much bigger visual and performance leap this time. The display, long considered the most important upgrade for the Mini line, is finally getting the love it deserves. Several industry insiders now believe that Apple is testing two screen variants. One with promotion 120Hz refresh rate, and another with OLED technology, the same high contrast, energy efficient panels used in the latest iPad Pro models. If both features arrive together, it would mark the biggest leap in visual quality ever seen on an iPad mini. Imagine scrolling through Safari or sketching in Procreate, and every animation feels liquid smooth, every color deeper and more accurate, and the entire experience just looks alive. But there's also a dose of realism. Some reports hint that while promotion is almost guaranteed, OLED may still be saved for a later model, possibly the iPad Mini 9. Apple is known for its carefully staged rollouts, spreading big features across product generations to maintain momentum and manage production costs. Still, the possibility of even one of those upgrades arriving in the Mini is huge. The 120Hz promotion panel would immediately make this device more enjoyable for artists, gamers, and anyone who loves that ultra-smooth iOS feel. Combine that with a rumored A19 Pro chip, and you're looking at a small tablet with serious flagship power. Speaking of chips, that's where the iPad Mini 8 might surprise a lot of people. For years, fans have been hoping Apple would finally introduce an M-series chip the same class of silicon used in iPads Pro and Macs. But as exciting as that sounds, the physics just don't add up. The iPad mini is tiny, its chassis is thin, its battery compact, and its internal thermal system designed for efficiency, not extreme power. The M-series chips, while efficient compared to desktop processors, still run hot under heavy workloads. Putting one inside the iPad mini could cause thermal throttling reduce battery life, and force Apple to make the device thicker, something Apple's design philosophy rarely allows. Instead, all signs point toward a new generation A-series processor, the A19 Pro, which is expect Ted to debut in the iPhone 17 Pro before making its way into the iPad Mini 8. Built on a 2 nanometer process, 
The A19 Pro promises massive gains in efficiency, AI computation, and graphics rendering. Apple may even tweak the chip slightly for the Mini, possibly trimming one GPU core to balance power draw and thermals. That means the iPad Mini 8 will still deliver flagship-level performance, capable of handling demanding apps, console-grade games, and heavy multitasking, but in a more energy-efficient package. When it comes to design, Apple seems to be sticking to what already works. The flat-edge chassis introduced with the iPad Mini 6 and continued through the 7th generation will likely remain. Expect aluminum unibody construction, a Touch ID power button, USB-C port, and a sleek lightweight feel that makes the Mini stand out as one of the most portable tablets in Apple's lineup. That said, Apple will probably introduce subtle refinements, thinner bezels, improved weight distribution, and possibly new color options. A deeper midnight blue or titanium silver could replace the current pastel palette to align it visually with the M5 iPad Pro and upcoming iPhone 17 Pro series. Internally, Apple may introduce new N1 and C1 X coprocessors, the same custom chips responsible for intelligent power management and connectivity optimization in recent devices. These co-chips help the main processor offload specific tasks like wireless communication, AI inference, and battery optimization, leading to smoother performance and longer battery endurance. The battery itself might not grow much in capacity, but improved efficiency from the A19 Pro and N1 co-chip could extend real-world usage time by 10 to 15%. Apple's focus will likely be on smart power distribution allowing longer video playback, lower heat during gaming, and better standby retention. One of the more underrated upgrades expected in the iPad Mini 8 is connectivity. Apple is rumored to include Wi-Fi 7 support with bandwidths up to 160 MHz, along with Bluetooth 6 for stronger, more stable connections with accessories. Cellular versions will likely debut with Apple's custom C2 or C1X modem bringing up to 50% faster 5G download speeds and better performance in crowded areas like airports, city centers, and large events. Combined with smarter AI-based antenna switching, this could make the Mini one of the most reliable tablets for travel and mobile work. Imagine streaming 4K movies, uploading photos, or joining video meetings on the go without lag or dropped signals, all from a device that fits in one hand. That's the experience Apple seems to be targeting. When we talk about the iPad Mini, we can't ignore its place in Apple's lineup. It has always been the in-between device, bigger than an iPhone, smaller than a regular iPad, yet surprisingly capable. For years, it's been the favorite of travelers, pilots, students, and even photographers who use it as a portable digital notebook. The iPad Mini 8 is expected to strengthen that identity even further. Apple's rumored goal with this generation is to turn the Mini into the ultimate compact productivity tool, something that can handle note-taking, drawing, reading, and light video editing all with ease. Pair it with the latest Apple Pencil Pro and the redesigned Magic Keyboard Mini, and you've got what many call the iPad Pro experience in a pocket-friendly size. The Pencil Pro is rumored to gain even tighter integration with iPad OS 26, Introducing new hover gestures, pressure-based shortcuts, and adaptive shading tools for artists. Meanwhile, the Magic Keyboard Mini will likely feature a larger trackpad, new function row keys, and a more laptop-like typing experience. Perfect for on-the-go work. Now let's talk display technology, because that's where Apple might make its most important move. If OLED makes it into the Mini 8, this will completely change how the device looks and feels. OLED panels provide perfect black levels, infinite contrast, and better power efficiency during darker scenes. Combine that with 120Hz promotion, and the iPad Mini 8's display could easily surpass most laptops and even rival the latest iPhones in smoothness and responsiveness. Artists using drawing apps like Procreate or Affinity Designer would experience near-zero latency while gamers would get higher frame rate support for Apple Arcade titles and AAA quality ports arriving on iPad. Another important ploy, NT. Apple might also include True Tone XDR calibration borrowed from the iPad Pro, 
ensuring that brightness and color accuracy remain consistent across lighting environments. Whether you're editing photos outdoors or reading in bed at night, the screen would adapt dynamically for comfort and clarity. Performance, of course, remains the backbone of every Apple device. The A19 Pro isn't just about faster CPU speeds. It's about smarter, AI-driven computing. Built on a 2-nanometer architecture, it offers higher transistor density, meaning more power and efficiency packed into the same space. AI performance is expected to jump significantly, possibly 50% faster than the A17 Pro, enabling new on-device generative AI features like real-time image creation, text summarization, and intelligent multitasking. Apple's iPad OS 26 will take advantage of this by including deeper AI integration into everyday apps. Imagine pages that help write paragraphs automatically or notes that organize your thoughts with smart tags and auto summaries. For gamers, the A19 Pro's GPU improvements will mean smoother 3D rendering, ray tracing support, and console level performance without external cooling. Apple's push for AAA titles on iPad will continue with developers optimizing major games for smaller displays and touchscreen controls. Now, what about storage and RAM? Here's where the iPad Mini 8 takes another step toward parity with the iPad Air and Pro models. Reports suggest that Apple may introduce configurations up to 12 gigabytes RAM, a first for the Mini, along with storage options ranging from 128 gigabytes to one terabyte. This would be a massive improvement for professionals who rely on large file handling, video editing, or multitasking with multiple heavy apps. Coupled with faster SSD modules capable of twice the read and write speeds of the previous generation, app loading times and file transfers should feel nearly instantaneous. So when can we expect it? Most analysts point to a late 2026 release window, possibly during Apple's October event. The company typically refreshes the Mini every two to two and a half years, and that timing aligns perfectly with the current roadmap. This means the iPad Mini 8 could launch alongside the iPad Air 7 or even a new base model iPad 12, giving Apple's entire tablet lineup a major boost going into the 2026 holiday season. Pricing should remain in the familiar range starting around $499 US dollar for the base Wi-Fi model and climbing to around $799 for higher-end configurations. If Apple adds an OLED display, prices might rise by about $50 to $100 depending on storage and connectivity options. Now, the big question, should you wait for the iPad Mini 8 or buy the current Mini 7? If you already have the Mini 7 and it's serving you well, you're not missing much yet. It's still fast, reliable, and runs the latest iPad OS smoothly. But if you're craving a smoother display, better color accuracy, or next-level AI performance, the Mini 8 might be the upgrade you've been waiting for. For artists, students, travelers, or professionals who value portability without compromise, this upcoming model could hit the perfect balance of power and convenience. At the end of the day, Apple's strategy with the iPad Mini 8 seems crystal clear. Evolution, not revolution. The company isn't trying to reinvent the wheel. It's perfecting it. Each year, Apple refines the formula. Thinner bezels, brighter screens, smarter chips, and better accessories. And with the iPad Mini 8, that refinement reaches a whole new level. This isn't just about another small tablet. It's about redefining what the mini experience means in 2026 and beyond. A tablet that fits in your hand, yet holds the power of Apple's future AI ecosystem. So, whether you're a digital artist sketching on the go, a student taking notes between classes, or a traveler editing videos mid-flight, the iPad Mini 8 could easily become your favorite Apple device of the year. It's small, it's powerful, and it's about to get a whole lot smarter. If you're excited about this upcoming launch, stay tuned. Apple's next event could finally unveil the iPad Mini 8, the most advanced compact tablet ever built.